What's up guys? I'm here to find out how modern cities function and what their futures will look like. Let's get it. I can't believe I'm finally in Singapore. Welcome to the Lion City. Can't wait to show you around. Riding a bike in Singapore is great for convenience. You get to experience the city for 100% of what it is without being boxed in. So I know Singapore is considered a smart city, but what makes a city smart? A city's smartness can be measured by various characteristics. Its degree of connectedness and digitalization, the quality of infrastructure and environmental initiatives. And the last one would be investment, right? Investment into the innovation as well as research into bettering the quality of people's lives. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, you're using the connected app? Yeah, I am. It's great. I mean, I can review all my rides. I can see how many more kilometers I have and uh, when I need to charge the bike. Nice. I've noticed there's so many electric vehicles here. Is that on purpose? Yeah, the Singapore government's trying to promote the use of electric vehicles. And there's a plan to have only electric vehicles or hybrids on the street by 2040. That's impressive. Today, we have more than 3,000 charging stations. But of course, there is always room for improvement. We are planning to have more than 60,000 EV points by 2030. That was amazing. It looks like you're really loving the CEO 4 Yeah, I really think it's a perfect bike to just get around Singapore, you know, nice city riding. Have you heard of the concept CEO 2 Yeah, I literally sat on it when I went to Munich. I was told that there is gonna be a production bike of the CEO2 is gonna drop in July in Berlin. So we should go to Berlin. I am down, I've never been to Berlin. Well, this seems like the perfect time to go. And it's just the perfect bike because in some places you can start riding it as early as 15 or 16. I wish there was something like that when I was 15. Yeah, honestly, it's the best bike for young urbans who just get around the city. This is amazing. The plants and the water have this really nice calming effect and it's really nice to just hang out here. Lots of people come here. I'm blown away. Environmental initiatives are important to reduce pollution and counteract climate change in cities. Because of that, Singapore has started to green up its buildings. So what are the benefits of having nature in the city? There are many benefits, uh, especially in a city as, as crowded and dense like Singapore. Number one, plants uh, increase the amount of oxygen in the air. Number two, it takes in carbon dioxide, so it's like a carbon sink. It helps calm you down because it softens all the hard concrete edges. And number four, the last one, which is most important to me, it makes the place look really beautiful <laughs> and nice to live in. It's actually crazy how green it is in Singapore. Of course, in New York, we have things like parks and green balconies, but it's nothing compared to here. And it's crazy the impact so much nature can make. So how is it living with such beautiful greenery all the time? It's nice. I think Singapore's done a great job uh, living up to the Garden City name. Uh, we've cleaned up some of the waterways and, you know, planted more trees and we started getting animals coming back. Animals like otters? Yeah, we get otters. So um, we have monitor lizards, we get otters and, um, you know, they've integrated again with society and it's nice to see them. So you'll be walking down the street and you'll just see a couple of otters just passing by. That's amazing because in New York, you walk down the street, you see an otter-sized rat. It's huge. It's huge. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh, hello. You're in the mood for some dope beats, aren't you? Yes. Let me rap for you. Okay. I'm your own Oh my god, Singapore is crazy. Smart cities invest a lot in research and innovation. Many companies in Singapore work on the development of robots for various functions, from cleaning up to performing surgery.
Ultimately, a smart city makes sure that its people are well off. Today and tomorrow, at work and in the free time, there is no standstill in a smart city. It is constantly optimizing itself so that people can live there happily, not only today, but also in the future. If you're excited to see more of the CEO too, stay tuned for the next episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>